And for Gilmore. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, veterans in my electorate of Gilmore are very much loved and play a big part in our communities. Gilmore is home to over 7,000 serving defence members and veterans uh, and their families as well. Gilmore has the highest number of defence members and veterans in New South Wales. So it's fair to say veterans and support for veterans is a very important topic in Gilmore. One of the many things I have really cherished in my role has been building good relationships with all our local RSL clubs, Vietnam Veterans Associations and all our local veterans groups. This has taken time, but it is so, so important. I have gotten to know ESOs and have heard many of the challenges around veterans' claims. I vividly remember one RSL sub-branch meeting and hearing about the very real impacts of such a high number of veterans' claims that the ESO was supporting um, that had been ongoing for a very long period of time. Our ESOs play a vital role, but I remember thinking they need more support. It was the time under the previous government that veterans' claims processing had blown right out, and veterans and their families and people supporting them all felt that intolerable pain. Deputy Speaker, Nowra is a proud Navy and defence town. We are home to HMAS Albatross, the Royal Australian Navy's largest base and the only naval air station in Australia. We are also home to HMAS Creswell, the Royal Australian Navy's Officer Training College. We also have many lodger units at HMAS Albatross, including the Army's Special Operations Command's ADF Parachuting School. We are truly lucky to have such diversity in defence in the Shoalhaven, including the most amazing defence industry businesses. So it is natural when serving defence members retire or conclude their time with defence locally that they stay in our beautiful area that has been home for their families for some time. So the question became, how can we better support our veterans and their families? Deputy Speaker, I was proud to advocate and deliver one of the first veterans wellbeing hubs at Nowra, the Shoalhaven Veteran and Family Hub. I have visited often and witnessed the many different veterans groups and veterans participating in wellbeing activities and accessing support. It is a wonderful centre funded and supported by the federal government. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, I joined Invictus South Coast and Bowls Great for Brains at the Warragi Sports Club to bowl with veterans and their families. This is just one of the many wellbeing activities on offer in my area from dedicated workers and volunteers supporting veterans and families. But one thing that has always stayed with me from um, before we came to government was the issue of that massive backlog of veterans' DVA claims and the impact this was having on veterans and family members. And I'm pleased to say the backlog is an issue we have been tackling, with an additional 500 DVA staff employed to work through the backlog. And I'm also pleased to say that because of the Albanese government's work in this regard, and it has taken time and full credit to the minister and his department, DVA claims are now back to within normal processing times. However, adding to the complexity of the claims process is that under the current legislative model, veterans' entitlements are determined under one or more of three primary compensation acts, the Military Rehabilitation and Compensation Act 2004, MCRA, the Veterans Entitlements Act 1986, VEA, and or the Safety, Rehabilitation and Compensation Defence-Related Claims Act 1988, DA, 